Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Midzy69, and we are back with uh, an OP replay. Now, this replay is the Object 140, and it's driven by Alcatraz, and it's so good. It's probably the best Object 140 battle I have ever seen, and I do say that quite often, like with the Batchat replay I once posted. And when I say that, I don't exaggerate. I only put... I, I have a replay of the week. Uh, two days, Saturday and Sunday. And occasionally I do put replays midweek. But the only replays I ever put on their own and actually comment on are like the best of the best and are actually worth commenting. And he does absolutely remarkable things this battle and it's crazy so it is faust there is two tier nines and you can see he's poked up on the right side and this is where the battle pretty much takes place the majority of the team are, are mediums there's quite a few mediums and that's why the, the the battle itself is taking part on this section of the map now he's already had a few good shots in on the leopard and the grill and now he's going to have a nice shot in on the t uh, the t110 e4 so he is down one tank on his team there's ting team uh, tanks to the left tanks to the right and then an is7 decided to come through the middle and he spotted that he was quick off the mark to spot that and he's not going to poke out he's going to wait for that is7 to shoot and then he's going to poke out and he knows he can shoot him a couple of times before the is7 is reloaded so he gets the shots in is7 is now reloaded so he can back up and he can get some shots in to the e4 another shot nice track shot there and he, is he going to get another one before yes he is and he gets his first kill so now the leopard pta is also flanking unfortunately couldn't get that shot because the amx 50b was in the way but now the is7 has just shot the amx 50b he can get a track shot in and again he can reload before the is7 has reloaded and he can take him out for his second kill but at this point in the game it's now three against five the leopard pta is a one shot and instead of waiting around he's gonna rush out rush out and he's gonna get a nice shot into him and leaving him on 74 HP and he can go and he can clear out for his third kill. So now it is three against four, but there's still a lot of hit points to get through. Al has saved his hit points. The Amex 50B has just been taken down by the grill. Uh, he couldn't get that shot in the E50M and the E50M is full health. He's not going to be full health for much longer. Gets a nice shot into him. And it's just two against four. And his teammate is a grill, so he hasn't got much armor. And he's not going to last very long. And that pattern plays a very good game. And he's hold down, and there's not much uh, Al can do with a hold down pattern. So he's going to try and get behind him. He's going to relocate. And there's no point staying where he was staying. Again, that m48 pattern is being a pain in the backside but the grill is now in a bad position he decides to stay where he was and he's gonna suffer for that and he's gonna get absolutely wrecked but al doesn't finally get a shot into that pattern but the pattern does take off the grill so now it is just alcatraz versus four and you can see there is a full health e100 a full health e50 there's this pattern who has played a very good game and it's going to be difficult he's already done 4.8k damage but he's still got an awful lot of work to do one against four is very hard indeed especially when two of them are full hit points and especially when a pattern has done an amazing work and again he knows what he's doing he's hold down he's only showing his turret and it's a bitch when you get a tank that did that and you can't do absolutely nothing. But he's in a situation now where he's going to be stuck in a corner. And the pattern is keeping him spotted. And he knows there is an E100 coming. He knows that there's a grill around and he knows that there is an E50. So when I was watching this, I was thinking, you're gonna if you stay there, 
you're going to get absolutely wrecked. And first up comes that E50. So E50 is going to be stupid enough to come up the hill, give him his bottom plate, and he gets a bounce side scraping him. Now, this is where the magic happens. He's going to side scrape against this E50. He's going to go back and forward, but there's an E100. There's a grill coming, and there is a pattern coming. And he's using that E50 as protection. He takes out the E50, 6.3k damage now. He's done four kills. He's going to back up. He's going to get a nice bounce from the pattern. E100 misses his shot, which means he knows he can get another shot in on that E100, possibly another two shots. But the main focus here is that pattern. He's the one causing the problems. He's now got three tanks all around him. He's a one shot. The grill has shot him. He needs to take out uh, the E100 shot. I'm sorry. He needs to take out the grill. He manages to do it. He's run out of AP and he has to shoot heat into a grill. Not good. But he takes him out anyway for six kills. He is on 32 hit points whilst the E100 is on nearly 600. He's already done 7.9k damage. He's blocked 1900 damage. But I was just truly amazed how he actually got out of that alive. He had four tanks around him, all around him in a little corner of a map. He manages to take out three of them and he gets out still alive. Still alive, 32 hit points, it doesn't matter. He could have one hit point, it doesn't matter. He is still alive and he is still fighting. Now, there is only 40 seconds left on the clock. The E100 is in that tunnel. He does need to be careful. He does need to get spotted. The E100 knows where he is, but he, the time is running out and he needs to do something. The E100 has just shot here. He's his opportunity. He gets the high roll. Leaves him on three, 253 damage. 19, 18, 17. The clock is run down. Now, does he want to go for the draw or does he just want to go full in Full guns blazing, try and get that 7th kill, and he is, he's going in, and luckily, stupidly, the E100 wasn't looking, and he gets his 7th kill, which is such an amazing battle, fantastic, thank you very much Al for sending me that in, he ends on 8.5k damage, he gets the top gun, high calibre, he gets the Raz, he gets the Kolobanov, he gets the lot, minus 7,000 credits, but who gives a shite? 2000 base xp amazing thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did and i will see you all soon bye bye